redemption listen last night i went to a happy hour for my management team last year let me tell you for last year's happy hour <laughs> i went hungry because i thought we were ordering like dinner but we got like appetizer type dishes and i also don't eat seafood and they got like shrimp and oysters and stuff so i was like okay i got two margaritas i think and i was like i'm gonna try an oyster so i i ate an oyster and then i was like i'm gonna try a piece of shrimp because that's what was on the table so i tried a piece of shrimp and then all of a sudden in the middle of dinner i was like i need to go to the bathroom so i go to get up to go to the bathroom and i stumble and all of a sudden i was just like dizzy fucked up like Ugh. so my manager stands up and is like oh do you want me to go to the bathroom with you she took me to the bathroom she was also everybody was pre preface everybody was drunk at this point so she takes me to the bathroom and i'm like get out get out because i'm about to blow chunks bitch i literally didn't make it through the entire dinner because i went blacked out like throwing up everywhere in the bathroom luckily martin went with me so he was waiting outside of the bathroom for me with my jacket and purse and we just left and i was throwing up out of the window of the car the entire way home and why i think <clears throat> it wasn't just that i had was drinking i think i might have like a shellfish allergy because my sister and my grandma do and the only thing i ate that was weird was the shrimp and oyster and it wasn't just like that night throwing up i threw up the entire next day too so anyways last night was our second happy hour with the management team for this year and i was like i'm gonna redeem myself like i'm gonna be so good and it was so chill and so fun and i redeemed myself and I'm not gonna lie, I'm just really tired this morning, so I'm waiting on breakfast. Martin left this morning to go out of town for work, and he brought me these flowers from the show he did yesterday. He always brings me home like the bouquets that they have at the end of the day, and I love it. But this morning, he also made me coffee, so I'm gonna heat that up and catch up on the Kardashians. This house is a freaking mess. We've both been so busy that we clean like at least once or twice a week like thoroughly but with six animals like and just two 20 somethings like our house gets really messy really quick i was hoping to come back today with my room update video but i don't get paid till tomorrow beach so we're gonna have to wait a little bit beans you wanna say hi do you wanna say hi to your friends to your bestie say hi hi good morning just gonna say hi good morning girl happy day okay i just got my food but one of my favorite things to do while i'm just like hanging out is just look at houses on zillow look at this house i just found it's in visalia like where martin's family lives and it's a mid-century modern which is like my vibe but this is the backyard like are you kidding me in visalia hold on let me get like look at this masterpiece i'm obsessed anyways i just ordered this food on postmates and it's a little soggy but i got a breakfast sent tomato i did not really put tomato on it cheers i don't like the tomato on it i'm watching chris trying to talk chloe into getting a peacock I wish I had peacock money. Anyways, these hash browns are 10 out of 10. I struck that. I got inspired after breakfast to start cleaning the kitchen and I made it a TikTok because I got this new mop and unfortunately, as soon as I got home with it, someone commented and said, this mop sucks. But I already have it, so. Anyways, I got this one from Target. You just put it in. You use this thing. Her. I think it's better than that. I've been using the Swiffer forever. But since I've cleaned the kitchen, I might as well, right, Joe? Might as well clean the living room. First things first, all these dang cups. My mom sent me this vacuum for Christmas, which thank you, mom, because since living in this house, we have had four 
different vacuums and they all have broken but this one still works we're taking the best care of it the dog hair is just impossible to get up with the broom like so much clutter that i don't know what to do with the clutter Jenna! Yesterday, I posted a video of taking myself to breakfast. I just took myself to breakfast and everything was chill. I made a video, like a little vlog for TikTok, taking myself to breakfast. And the littlest things, you guys, the littlest things piss people off. Well, in my video, there's a clip of me putting salt and pepper on my eggs. Salt and pepper on my eggs, right? And then this girl comments and was like, why do y'all put pepper on everything? Like, I don't get it. And I was like, who doesn't put salt and pepper on their eggs, one? And two, who is y'all? Like, what do you mean by this? Like, she was digging, like, being a little bitch. And so I was like, who's y'all? And she was like, you white people. And I was like, I mean, literally, who doesn't put salt and pepper on their eggs, regardless what you are? And she responds, well, I'm Mexican and we don't use pepper. You mean to tell me you're on my page and you're not aware that I'm also Mexican? So I made, first I made a video that was just like, are you new here? My name is Kaylin Gutierrez. But then I deleted it because I had a better serve. You have to go watch it on TikTok. It's uh, just like a dance or a song meme, but I was like, my Mexican jeans leaving my body because I put pepper on my eggs, like whatever. And then someone must be like her boyfriend or like her on her boyfriend's thing or just another weirdo. Because I didn't say Gutierrez to their liking. They said, maybe learn how to pronounce your last name if you want to claim to be Mexican. Claim? Okay. Whether I said, Gutierrez, 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 Gut whatever, whatever, however I said it was gonna be an issue for these people. But it was just hilarious to me. And so I posted a video to their response and I was like, okay, Gutierrez, like just like fucking around. And it was just like the stupidest things, y'all, the stupidest things. You're not any less Mexican because you don't speak Spanish and you're not any less Mexican because you put pepper on your eggs, okay? Okay, I'm gonna finish cleaning. So look what I got at Target. Ah, I can't breathe. Okay. I got this unofficial Hocus Pocus cookbook and there's a bunch of recipes in here like pumpkin pancakes, gingerbread house, cookies, just like a bunch of recipes and then at the end, they have drink recipes. So today, I'm gonna be making the Parents Party Spiced Apple Cider from scratch. I'm making it on TikTok, but I'll also film a YouTube video and I'll post that tomorrow. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm sorry today was just kind of boring, but I promised you a video and you got a video. And I'll see you tomorrow.